Hi, I'm David with Weathermatic Tech Services. And in this video, we're gonna instruct you how to replace an RJ11 adapter on your CAT3 cable for your SmartLink Air Card. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Let's slide this out of the way. Let's loosen this cable up here and let's get that out in front. Uh, so basically, uh, when you're looking at this uh, orientation of these cables here, um, we've got to the left, orange. Then we've got white with a blue ribbon. We have blue and white with the orange ribbon. So we're going to get those, um, this adapter here cut off. Uh, we're going to be using the Klein VDV226107 cut strip and crimper. This tool works great. So we're just gonna go ahead and fit this uh, adapter through here. We're gonna get that cut off, set that aside, because you can use it to uh, help you remember the organization of these cables inside your adapter. All right, so the cutter makes a nice splice in our outer jacket, making for easy removal, accessing the internal wires and this, while we've got the length on here, we need to go ahead and organize these cables to go into our adapter. Uh, so what we want to do here is uh, get orange over onto the far left. We want white and blue up here. Let's go ahead and cut this fiber out real quick so that that's not in our way. All right, there we go. All right, so now we can work on cable organization here. So white, orange out to the far right, blue. So what we should have here when we're ready is orange, white with the blue ribbon, blue, and white with the orange ribbon. Now, now that we've got this length here, we need to trim this back some because overall this is too much cable to go into our adapter. Uh, so we'll go ahead and cut this back a little bit, shorten this up. And now we could take our new RJ11 adapter and we can go ahead and slide this right on here. Everything will go right into its channel. Make sure everything is in there nice and tight. I always look at the front of the adapters. You can see all those copper conductors are right there at the top edge of this RJ11. So with that done, we grab our Klein, stick this RJ11 adapter into the correct terminal here, crimp it down, pull out our adapter. The pins are now making contact, or these little gold blades are now penetrating these little conductors inside here. So there's no need to pre-strip these little conductors. We just need to get them exposed, installed into the adapter, crimp it off, and then get this plugged in and test our connectivity. And if it fails, just repeat this procedure. But you shouldn't have any problem at all. Using the correct tools, you could get this done easily and get this air card plugged in and ready to go. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and thank you for using Weathermatic.